Hi there. <clears throat> Sorry I haven't posted um, any videos in the last couple of days. It's been a uh, particularly sort of difficult <clears throat> last few days. <clears throat> it's um, probably getting boring me talking about it, but the, uh, the headwinds have just been <clears throat> non-letting up, which has compromised my, um, <clears throat> my ability to do big Ks. So last night... Um, Last night I stayed in Nundru, which is <clears throat> which is probably the Pitts Roadhouse of the Nullarbor. It's quite extraordinary, sort of <sighs> quite extraordinary place. Um, I was sitting in my tent last night, and um, so yesterday was <clears throat> oh yesterday yesterday was a hundred k's of possibly the most difficult endurance day, or certainly cycling of my life. It was a uh, it was a split up of 150 k's from Nullarbor Station, I think, to Nundru, which is 150 k's. So, not just because of the winds, but it was a really, really hilly section. I think anyone that's driven the Nullarbor would attest to the fact that it's just hills. It just was no, there was just no, no um, level road. It's hills all day long. So I had to break it up because I just couldn't, it meant riding for hours at night, which I didn't have the, uh, the capacity to do. I didn't have the physical ability to, to do that, ride through the night. Uh, and it was obviously fraught with danger to do so. So I broke it up into two days. I, um, <clears throat> I rode 50 k's or something and then camped in the bush. Very, very cold, man, very, very cold. I keep saying I had five layers of clothing on in the bush and um, then next day I got up and had to do a, the second bit which is a hundred just under a hundred to to Nundru so today um, I recovered from that today I got up <clears throat> and I've cycled about uh, 80 k same conditions into Penong 80 k's, which breaks up the leg from Nundru to Sejuna, which is 150. So 80 today is um, about 70, I think, tomorrow. So a huge day tomorrow. I've been trying to close down this Sejuna, this Sejuna waypoint for days. Um, and tomorrow I finally do it. So, <clears throat> so I'll spend the night in Sejuna tomorrow night and then then do a um, then track east northeasterly from Sejuna towards Port Augusta. So it's a different part of the chart. It's a different psychological space. It's a different route. It's out of the desert, which I'm delighted about. So I think it's about 470 k's, which is going to be about three day leg. But uh, but that will be a, a really important waypoint because once I get to Sejuna. I then turn for home. Uh, not Sejuna, Port Augusta. Once I get to Port Augusta, I turn for home and it's uh, two days into into Adelaide. So that means I can shed gear, I can shed water, I can shed food, and I can pretty much be lean, lean in terms of what I carry. So I just go hell for leather to um to make that what is it, 280 k's or something from Port Augusta to Adelaide. So that's not over yet, but it's um, but the worst is certainly behind me. The cold. People ask me around these roadhouses, what's the worst bit? The worst bit is um, well, the isolation and the difficult cycling is obviously at the top of the tree, but the cold, dealing with the cold and managing the cold late at night in the tent, like you're lying in the tent and it's um, minus two, minus three, minus four. It's pitch black. Phones no service. Radio doesn't work. You've got five layers of clothing on, so you look like Michelin Man and you can hardly move in your sleeping bag. And the condensation and the dew just overwhelms the tent, so it becomes a very uncomfortable thing. So even with the best intent to try and leave early and, and sun up doesn't come till about 7.30, you just can't physically manage the zips and the, the knives and the food and the... <laughs> just becomes a difficult gig. Anyway, stop complaining. Uh, so that's the story in uh, Penang tonight, and um, it's a nice modern Caltex metro style gas station here. I had a hot shower there today, so I'm out of the desert. 
I'm out of the desert and um, I'm heading for home. Okay, catch you later.